morning everybody it's Gina welcome back to the Firefly Studio 67 um, today I've got a journal to share with you I've just completed this one and I've named this one feathered friends um, not sure if this one's available or not um, it could possibly be gone but um, if it is available it will be in my shop but let's get started first I want to say a big thank you to uh, Andrea she's the one who sent me this fabulous fabric you may have seen um, in a, a previous video, it's been a while back, um, Andrea sent me beautiful materials and I finally got around Andrea to using this, so thank you so much. It is absolutely gorgeous. The colors um, are just so bright and cheerful. I think we all need an injection of some color at the moment. So when I was creating some of my um, garden themed um, ephemera I had this in mind to, to, to use this so it's a fabric cover it's a one signature journal book plate here and then I've just stitched around the, this little bird image because I knew he, I wanted that to be my focal point and then I've just layered up lots of different you know bits and pieces for my stash so um, the closure eyelets and then uh, this beautiful sorry silk here <clears throat> So here we go inside. Uh, this is this journal measures five and three quarter by eight and a quarter, and there's about 84 pages in here. So the front cover here, I've just uh, put a bird does not sing. This little saying, I love that saying. And then in the front pocket here, I had some extra um, paper when I printed out, so I just included that. I inked the back. And yes, it was a boo-boo on the print, but I thought in the end it doesn't really matter because I think it looks nice anyways. You can still do some journaling, so I just don't like to waste anything. So I thought, well, I'll just put that in there. Um, actually, that, that should go in this back pocket because this has two pockets on the, on the front cover here. So you've got the writing paper there. This is one of the um, acrylic painted tags that I did and I backed that with some tea dyed paper so that it could be journaled on the back. And then this is just another um, tag for my stash. So kind of a stash um, buster type journal because again I'm going through things, book pages, um, papers that maybe I had printed that I didn't use, but primarily um, the papers are from my porch print. This is her book. Uh, while flower botanical kit I believe so I'm going to put the link in the description box below for this because like I said you'll see this throughout the journal um, and I love this kit I go back to it time and time again um, you probably saw this this is one of my little book page um, ideas on how to use up extra book pages so I've just included this I've kept it very simple because it was it would have gotten too bulky if I had added um, pockets and things to it. So I've just left it as something um, that the recipient can just journal in. But I love how these come out. I love the closure on this, and I'm going to be incorporating that into um, a couple of journals I've got planned coming up. Um, so stay tuned for that. So yeah, I wanted this to be just, um, I mean, there's a lot of purples and uh, lavenders in this, but I did want it to be a journal with just colors from our garden because I really do think we are all uh, suffering from the dreary weather that we're having. So again, this is a page from the kit. Aren't they just stunning? And then here, this is a book page, and I just took a bit of, um, I had some leftover when I tore the pages. This was leftover, and I stitched that. This is a freebie that you can get from Jen of Eve if you are part of her Facebook group. So um, if you guys are interested in that, you will need to join her Facebook group. But I've included that. That has been printed on cardstock, and then I left it so that it could be uh, written on. So yeah, this has been a really fun journal to make. It's um, completely de-stressed me <laughs> because I've been really just grabbed things and started putting it together. I love how it's come out. This has been backed with some baking paper and then this is another um, image from the kit and then I took some of the tabs and included there. 
And this is just something else I had in my stash. And so again, I am just, I can't believe, um, I spent all last week, every evening, I spent about two hours fussy cutting out all of my, um, you know, bits that I had left over. And I'm going to show you guys, Just, I'm sorry, I'm going to take a break from the flip through just to show you guys what I've been doing. <laughs> this file here. This is where I keep um, and you can see I've still left some. These are my little um, words and book plates and so on. But this was crammed full, guys. Every one of these was full of um, ephemera I had printed out on cardstock and not used over the last year and a half. So last week I spent every night um, in while I was watching TV a couple of hours every night cutting everything out. And so now it's like, okay, it's out, it's done, I've got to use this stuff up. <laughs> so I feel like, oh wow, I'm finally getting a handle on things. This is something I made a while back. Um, if you Go to my tutorials playlist, you'll find um, all of the tutorials that I've ever done. So if you're interested in learning how to make that, just check out that playlist. And then here, this is again one of the um, slotted stitch dies, and I've put a handmade tag in this pocket, which is a junk mailer that I've upcycled. And then I've just filled this with various things that all kind of coordinated and I stamped my little bumblebee. He's got to be there. <laughs> and then little tickets here and just various things. I had a little... Um, these are the Tim Holtz wildflower um, dies. I've had a lot of people ask me about those. Um, more stitching here. Again, I love these papers. Stamping. So there's a lot of writing space in here, and yet it ended up being a very, very chunky journal. So here I just had, again, this was a misprint, and I just tore around it, stitched it, and added it um, so that there's extra writing space there. So um, these things happen, but there's no sense in, you know, throwing them out because uh, you spend a lot on that ink. <clears throat> Another... Edith Holden book page. I love that image. And I've just planted those. I know you're not really interested, but I just plant, plant, plant. <laughs> I'll learn to speak in a moment. I just planted some foxglove um, seeds. So fingers crossed, I'm hoping I'm going to have those in my garden this year. I'm getting so excited about my garden. <laughs> I want the bumblebees <laughs> and butterflies. Uh, you're probably not going to see me this summer. <laughs> I'm so excited to get out there. Another old um, flower book page. Here's a little tuck spot. I've got a little <clears throat> fabric ruffle there. Oh, that got bent. Um, just a postcard that you can do some journaling on. And a little, a little uh, library die cut careful not to bend that one back. So this I had um, for ages, and I just thought, oh, I'm going to put it in there. I love this. It was a card, but isn't it beautiful with the poppies and there's some gold? And I thought, oh, I really, I really want to include that. So you've got writing space here. And then over here I stitched um, <clears throat> and made a pocket and just filled in with lots of journal cards. Now these are the journal cards that you get in this kit. Uh, from Stephanie at My Porch Prints. And then there's another little tag there. Uh, okay, that's a guest check of tea dye. This was a um, bridge score pad, I believe. I never learned how to play bridge, um, which is kind of weird because I love cards. It's just a game I never did learn, but... Um, center of the signature, I got the little butterflies, but isn't that a beautiful page? the notes up there. So I did a lot of stitching in this journal and then here I've just paper clipped this. Um, I've got the doily maker 
um, for the cardstock, and so I've just added another doily to it. So you could journal on the back of that, or just move it throughout the journal and hold, you know, various things. And just one of the little tiny um, Tim Holtz paper clips to hold that in. <laughs> I hope everybody's okay. Ooh, I don't know what it's like, uh, everybody else, but boy, the news is frightening over this coronavirus, so I'm just trying to stay away from the news. Um, <clears throat> and you don't know what to think. The government tells you one thing one day, and then the next day it's all being blown out of proportion, so I just don't know. This was some trim I had, and again, I wanted this to just be a really colorful journal, and I, I love that, so I added that to it. This is the back of the card, and of course it had writing on it, so I just covered that with another sheet of, um, it's an old notebook pad that I picked up at the car boot, and uh, I've added that there. Another tab, there's another, uh, the back side of the other page, um, vintage, you know, book page. And then here I just did a little altered paper clip, and this has been decoupaged with that napkin that I love. <laughs> and then I just add a little bit of fabric and that flower, and that's just pinned those in. And then this flips over so you've got extra writing space. I did some stamping there. So yes, guys, I don't know what to think about all of it. Like I said, the news... You know, the government and the media really tried to play this down at the beginning, and now they seem to be trying to put people into a real panic over it. So, um, my sympathies for all the people in Italy, i got to say. Um, if I don't know, you know, if you guys are getting the news or not, but <clears throat> they're saying that Italy is pretty much in lockdown, but I don't know. I just don't. I don't always believe what we're being told, I'll just say that. Uh, another, the back side of the um, Edith Holden page. I love that page, it's so pretty. And then here I did another um, tag, and then I backed that with some craft uh, paper. So here, okay, what I did here, I've got this tiny pocket here. And then this is another um, thing that you can get from Stephanie's shop. Um, it's a little file folder with the pockets. Isn't that sweet? So I've added some little things there, and that's been tucked in. And then this, I made a, um, oh, it smells so good. It's a lavender. Um, I've s filled the tea bag with the lavender, and that's all been, um, I tea dyed the tea bag first, <laughs> and then filled it with lavender, and then I stitched all of this around and layered it. And it does really smell nice, so... Um, <clears throat> this is the pocket that I learned from Yvonne. So I put that in there, and then this creates a pocket. And then the rest of these, I've just stuck in the little folds. Oh, actually, that one, I had that one in the back there. Okay, more stitching here. Uh, me and the black thread were getting along really well this particular day. Um, sometimes when I use the black, for some reason, not the white, but the black thread seems to give me issues um, sometimes, but luckily <laughs> it all worked out that day. Um, stamping up here, and then this was actually an idea from um, <coughs> Eva. I think she's Bohemian Crafting on here. She had done a pocket out like this, and I just thought that was so stinking cute. So I came in and put the um, the acet acetate. I keep getting acetate and acetone confused, but I've backed it with acetate so that will go in there easily. And then this is a uh, beautiful book page, isn't it? And then I just back that with some cardstock so that you got another nice big journaling space there. And just some fabric at the top that's all been sewn around. <clears throat> Again, just bits and pieces from my stash. This is another um, tag from the kit. And then this, um, this card. This was a calico collage. And then 
Uh, this is the other side of the mailer, and again, isn't that book page beautiful? I, I'm just so angry with myself because <clears throat> I did not write down which book this came from because I would love to get my hands on another one. The images are just beautiful in that. it this way and put it in. Okay, and then another page from the kit. Some tea dyed paper. And then this, <coughs> if you've been watching me, you, you'll recognize out of book pages we made the pocket and the tag to match. Um, again, this will be in the tutorials and then I've also started a playlist for book page ideas because some people might not want to go through all the tutorials, so it should be in both of those playlists. I'm trying to make it a little bit easier for people to find things on the channel, because I know how frustrating it can be to remember, oh, somebody made something, and then have to scroll through hundreds of videos. So um, always check my playlist, guys, if you're curious about something. And then here um, I did a tutorial on how to make these little... Um, uh, little tuck spots, or they could be altered paper clips. This one's just a tuck spot here, and again, just things from my stash. So yeah, it's just a real mix, this one is. And uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. This is the back of the um, journal, and I've done these little fabric um, collages here with a little pin. And then this is a, <clears throat> I believe this is, well, I know it's Artie Mays, but I believe this was a freebie if you're part of her Facebook group, but I could be wrong on that. And then this is an envelope. Um, oh, okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, I, okay, so here I've just put another sheet of the paper. So there's another bit of writing space. And then this is an envelope that I made out of the, um, the paper. So there she is. This is Feathered Friends. I hope you guys have enjoyed that. And uh, I'm trying to think. I've, I've got a few projects with the book pages planned and then hopefully I'll have some more journals made very soon to share with you guys. I hope everybody's well. Stay safe and I'll be back very soon. Bye!